I talked all about the cloth simulation brushes and how they work in the last video. And I promised to show you how to actually make this jacket using those brushes. As always, you can find all the 3D files and real time videos of making the characters in my Gumroad and Patreon page. Link in the description. Let's get it. First, we're gonna make the low poly model of the jacket. If you already have a base model, skip to the cloth sim part. Okay, start with the plane. Rotate it, add a mirror modifier. And in the edit mode, while the snap is enabled, using poly build tool, place it on the body. Move your mouse to the outside of the edge. And when it turned blue, extrude it out. Also, I'm using draw x-ray add-on to see the mesh better. Then I start extruding around the mesh. In the mirror modifier, turn on clipping. So both sides stick together. Back to select mode, control to add a loop cut then while in edge select mode select this edge and press g two times so it moves along the edges we're gonna use this part for the jacket's color then extrude this edge to the outside then move your mouse between these edges and hold control until you see the blue line click to make a new face do that over and over to cover the body like this I only had the upper part of the body for this character, so for the rest of the jacket, I select the outer edges and extrude them to the bottom. Closed off the arms, then add the remaining loop cuts by pressing Ctrl R. For this jacket, I'm gonna fold these sleeves as you saw in the thumbnail. For that, we gotta have more geometries. We need to make the sleeves longer, so when it folds, it looks right. I extruded the edges to the inside, so we get some thickness. Also extrude this part out. I realized I needed more faces, so I added more by pressing Ctrl R and rolling the mouse wheel up. Also selected the faces around the color and extrude them down, cause we need them noticeable. When you were happy with the base shape, go ahead and add multi-res, then subdivide so we can begin. Okay. Now for the cloth simulation brushes, hold Ctrl Tab and switch to Sculpt Mode. First, we're gonna pick up Pose. Press N to bring up the right menu. Or in the tool settings, put the deformation target on Cloth Simulator and the deformation on Squash and Stretch. With this deformation type, we squash to make folds or stretch the cloth. I talked more about it on the cloth video. We can now grab the cloth and drag it to the bottom, resulting to this nice stretching around these areas. You might need to try it a few times to get the best results. Make Make sure X is enabled on the top so you get the same results on both sides. Wherever you put your mouse on and drag the mouse to a direction, Clot's gonna get the stretch on that direction. In the back, I pushed up the jacket to make some folds. Remember, we're still on low subdivision count, so we get these big folds. Don't go anymore on the subdivision, at least for now. I'm gonna add different patterns to the bottom of the jacket. It should be separated from the rest of the mesh so we can work on it easily. To do that, we're gonna use face sets. I explained how to use face set brushes in the cloth video if you want to check it out pick up draw face set brush and paint these areas as i said if you let go of the click next click will be a new face set with a different color so if you want to continue with that face set hold ctrl on the colored parts and start drawing to continue drawing the face set now we need to make it so only this part gets affected by our brush to do that go to the right menu and under advanced on auto masking enable face set now it gets restricted only on the face set i drag it down just a bit to make it flatter. We're gonna work more on it later. I'm gonna make these folds stronger. So I pick up cloth brush. I change the deformation from drag to snake hook. I just drag these folds to the bottom so it would be more visible. Now it's time to take care of these long sleeves. First we need to make a new face set for the sleeves. Hold click on the box face set and switch to lasso face set. This way we can easily select the sleeves. If you select more faces than you intended to, just pick up draw face set brush. Hold Ctrl on an empty face, then go over the colored face to erase the face set. You can also hold Shift to smooth out the face set borders. Now in the tool settings, change the rotation from topology to face set, so the mesh deforms from the face set borders. We're gonna change the deformation to squash and stretch. I put the multi as a scope number on 3, but you try with lower or higher to see which one works best. If you want the whole arm to get folded, just drag the mouse up. But I only wanted the certain parts of the sleeves to get folded, so I pick up draw 
face that brush, hold control click on the white parts and move it to the parts where I want it to be erased from the face set. Now back to pose brush, click and drag up to fold the sleeves. You might have to do it few times from different angles to get the best results. Don't mind the jankiness of the folds cause they're gonna look good after you subdivide them. I want the tip of the sleeves longer. Back to draw face set brush, I create a new face set around the tip. In the advanced tab, enable face set auto masking so the deformation doesn't go outside of the face set. We don't want too much folds on this one so I decrease the sculpt number on multi res. Now we can straighten up the tip by dragging the mouse down. I pick up the grab brush and push it inside just a bit. Now let's pose the jacket so it looks nicer. Using draw face set, cover the full arm. Change the deformation to rotate slash twist. Then turn off face sets from advanced cause we want the full arm to rotate. Get it closer to the center so it looks more natural. Back to draw face set brush, get rid of half of the arm. Then rotate this part too. Now you can subdivide to smooth things out a bit. Ok we made most of the jacket using only cloth seam brushes. But these brushes are not really good for small details so we need to use other brushes for the details and improve on the shape overall. First we need to flatten out the bottom part of the jacket which we can do by holding shift. Do the same thing for the bottom part of the sleeves too. Then press shift c to switch to the crease brush and start separating the bottom parts of the sleeves from the folds. Bottom part is kinda sharp. What we can do here is to pick up boundary brush. We talked more about this brush on the last video. Change the deformation to bend and boundary fall off to constant. For this part we don't want any cloth simulation so change the deformation target to geometry but as you can see it's too sharp so in the fall off change it from constant to smooth or smoother. Now using a small size brush click and drag to bend it inside then smooth out any sharp areas. Now using draw brush we can add some folds on the sleeves. Also add some to the front to make the folds pop out a bit more. Using draw brush again, add some volume to the folds so it gets more noticeable. We can also add some thickness to the edges to make it more realistic. Now for the bottom part, first we need to mask it so we can work more on it. Just pick up the mask brush and mask these areas. Some parts are behind the sleeves and we can reach them. One thing we can do here is to press tab to go to edit mode. Select the sleeves, press edge to hide them and tab again and continue masking. Press ctrl i to invert the mask. Now we can add some folds to this one without ruining the jacket. Ctrl I again and using move brush with a big size drag the outside over the bottom one just a bit. Now I'm gonna add a zigzag pattern to this part using draw sharp brush but doing it by hand is kinda difficult. So let's change the stroke from space to line. Now we can easily make these lines until we get to the bottom. Then using inflate brush, make this kinda aerated parts in the middle so it will look like the stitches push the cloth inside. Using draw sharp brush again, I'm gonna add some lines all across the color to give it a nice pattern so it would look different than the rest of the jacket. I'm gonna add some small folds close to the edges so it would look like cloth got a stretch in these areas but you do yours based on the type of clothing you have. Using draw sharp brush again with the line stroke I'm gonna add some of these lines to the bottom as well.
and we are done with the modeling. In the next video, we're gonna texture it and make the shader all in Blender. Maybe hang around so you won't miss it. If the video was helpful, like and sub would be great. If you wanna download the 3D files and real-time videos, don't forget to check out my Gumroad and Patreon page. See you on the next one. Peace.